Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IS. Energy through nuclear fusion seems to becoming a reality if the new breakthrough has to be looked at more depth we have to know that this might enable the world to get energy for the next many years without any sort of addition to climate change and without any garbage dumping we are going to discuss that today from the perspective of gs mains paper third and also from the perspective of prelims it is important that we understand this topic these are the many topics that we are going to discuss step by step what has happened so far let's know about it recently energy secretary jennifer granholm has announced that a major scientific breakthrough has come to the fore when it comes to harnessing fusion we are talking about nuclear fusion what is nuclear fusion that will also be discussed researchers at the lawrence livermore national laboratory have said that it is for the first time ever that energy has been produced in such an amount that it has outdone the energy the amount of energy that was used to ignite the entire process that means more output was received in exchange of less input and this is known as net energy gain so that's a good thing what is nuclear fusion nuclear fusion is a process by which two light atomic nuclei they combine to form a single heavier one and when they combine they release massive amounts of energy and fusion reactions they take place in a state of matter called plasma plasma is the fourth state of matter basically understand it like this when liquid boils it turns into gas that means when we add heat to liquid it turns into gas furthermore when we add heat to the gas it turns into a soup of positively charged ions and negatively charged ions so this is basically the fourth state of matter when we were little we only studied about the three states of matter moving ahead now let's talk about natural occurrences the sun and all other stars they are working or they are powered by the nuclear reaction only how does it happen when fusion has to take place the nuclei they need to collide with each other at extremely high temperature as around as 10 million degree celsius and they need to be very close together so that they can collide with each other and when they do so they come closer to each other in such a manner that they overcome their mutual electrical repulsion and they fuse together to form a single nuclei so this is the condition they have to collide at a high temperature high temperature is needed because they have to overcome their mutual electric repulsion now how does it happen nuclei first of all they should come within a very close range of each other this is the first precondition and the attractive nuclear force between them that will outweigh their electrical repulsion that means more attraction is needed and less electrical repulsion and because of this fusion fusion happens and the nuclei must be confined within a small space so that collision can happen in the sun the extreme pressure which is produced by high temperatures and gravity is the reason for the nuclei to come close to each other why are the scientists studying fusion the very simple answer is we need energy energy which is sustainable in nature which is greener in nature and causes less less damage to the earth scientists they have been trying to duplicate the process as they have understood the process since the late 1930s the current efforts focus on fusing fusing a pair of hydrogen uh, isotopes deuterium and tritium okay and they are being used why because much more energy is released than most other future uh, fusion reactions and that is why these two isotopes have been chosen okay moving ahead nuclear fusion they can be replicated on earth at an industrial scale this is one of the benefit it has it can be mass produced and it could provide virtually limitless clean safe and affordable energy to meet the demands of the world right now we of course are dependent on coal coal is a source of traditional energy but it creates a lot of damage to the environment it wreaks havoc to our atmosphere our water sources and soil sources as well fusion could generate four times more energy per kilogram of fuel than fission and nearly 4 million times more energy than burning oil or coal 
my question to you is what is the difference between fusion and fission tell me in three lines in the comment segment and i will take your names also in theory with just a few grams of these reactants it is possible to produce a tera joule of energy which might last longer and longer than the current energy sources moving ahead now how we understand the benefits see fusion fuel is first of all plentiful and easily accessible if we talk about deuterium it can be extracted inexpensively from the sea water tritium can potentially be produced from the reaction of fusion generated neutrons which with naturally abundant lithium lithium is also important over here so india needs to ensure that it extracts all these future fish fusion reactors are also intrinsically safe they are safe in nature because they are not expected to produce high activity or long lived nuclear waste such as other radioactive waste there is no risk of a runaway reaction and meltdown even if the plasma has escaped the reactor the fusion can only occur under strict operational condition and it will not be of any harm moving ahead now the value of this big breakthrough this big breakthrough can lead to immense amount of availability of energy this is the biggest value which is which is linked to this the elements needed first of all are available in sea water it it's also a process that doesn't produce any rare reactive waste so we are in a win win situation right now the scientists are producing such fusion reactions through a tokamak which is a donut shaped vacuum chamber and it uses powerful magnets to turn fuel into superheated plasma the temperature is between 150 million and 300 million degrees celsius important for prelims then there is livermore lab here researchers fire a 192 beam laser at a small capsule which is filled with deuterium and tritium fuel and in august 2021 tests produced 1.35 megajoules of fusion energy which is about 70% of the energy fired at the target all right and the most critical feature of moving fusion from theory to commercial reality is getting more energy out than in so we are in a net energy gain so that is also really good so these are the important things that we needed to study let me take the names of those students who have answered my last question correctly uh, okay the correct answer was option c many of you have answered option a but that is not correct option c is correct uh, anvita has answered it correctly sanjay then rupal albatross then sagarika then suraj rehan why all you have answered it a it's both high courts as a court of record they do have the power to review their own judgments okay remember that so diana has answered it correctly sumit shahid riyansh um aditya also somya thank you so much atul athira thank you shivaji and then pallavi you have answered it correctly tushita shrinivas anuj yes many of you have answered it incorrectly please mind it that both the options both the statements were correct thank you so much for watching and i will take the names of those students who have answered my that question correctly which i have you know pronounced in the middle of the segment that's it thank you so much Thank mm -hmm. you.